Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Comedy Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the Rock Celebrator collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space where we have pr printed out some life forms that we call duplicants which are currently trying to make their way into the future as nicely as possible and it's my job to give them the orders to make sure that can happen. The thing that we've been doing most recently is trying to colonise this brand new asteroid over here. It's a very brutal situation that we have set up right now so brutal in fact I'm immediately going to start putting down some blocks because this is a thing that we need to try and fix at some point you might notice that my uh, my electrolyzer here it is doing the job that most electrolyzers do it takes water in the form of this water water line over here and splits it down into oxygen and hydrogen Oxygen, great. I'm all about getting some oxygen out here. The hydrogen, however, is just kind of like floating around, causing a little bit of troubles in our base. You can see it's starting to collect at the top here inside each room. I'm going around putting some little mitigation features in place, but I think it would be much better if we trapped it all at the source and then had some sort of hydrogen sensor, maybe over in this corner. Let's look in the uh, automation gas element sensor. Pop that there. Automation wire. We've only got steel. Okay, but in between the two, that should work. Fine, we'll figure out how the power wait 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 we can do this right here power works and then this this will be going somewhere uh, into the power system over here we'll be taking the hydrogen that we pump out of that area and running it into the hydrogen generator I was waiting for that menu to open up there uh, which will just make us more power I mean that's that's pretty cool I wonder if we can slam it now we can't slam it anywhere in this corner there's not quite enough room this whole little setup right here if I'm to be honest with you smacks of temporary buildings I think I think this whole corner over here is going to get completely revamped at some point. But until that day, until that day, we're going to just carry on trying our best uh, to get everything here up and operational. Now, this is not all that we are doing, though. I've spotted two problems that we've got, and let's go and deal with the easiest to fix first. Over here on Reverse Lint, it is Reverse Lint because it is the reverse of most asteroids. We've got lava up on top, and it was cold down below. We've pretty much taken away most of the cold. Oh, look, we've got a lot of cold over there still. Uh, but the lava, the lava is starting to run out, or the magma, I suppose, if we're following the game nomenclature. Uh, and I would like to come along and drop a whole bunch of this magma uh, down into the, the, the pit here. Uh, the, the main thing that I'm worried about, the main thing is that our igneous rock production has slowed down uh, in fact has stopped now igneous, igneous rocks are what we are feeding the, uh, the hatches down here if we can't feed our, our farm animals uh, then suddenly they're, they're going to have some problems. They're going to have great problems. Uh, the reason I've had to turn the alarm on is our guy Rutherford here. He's the only person on the asteroid that can do the digging of the super hard materials. But this place is not set up to have... Um, any, any digging or building really happening. This is set up to do the farmer ranching and to produce a little bit of steel. Um, Boar over here does the cooking, Rutherford does the farming, and Boar also does the uh, the steel manufacturing as and when it is necessary. None of those jobs, you might note, was digging. So to uh, make sure the digging can happen, Rutherford, our farmer, has to be told that this is very, very important, super, super urgent. So we put a whole bunch of alarms on, and we're going to go see what we can do about this area. Do you think? No, 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 not this one. Pyaxlin. Funnily enough, Blagolia, one of our more recent places, actually set up quite well. It's the, the heat exchanges are working from our two um, refined metal volcanoes over here. The natural gas, gas reservoirs that we've set up are functioning perfectly, and the natural gas generator. So everything. It's just kind of like ticking over quite nicely over here as far as I can tell. How's the water situation go? We are we are still getting water here. That's pretty good. We're still waiting for these uh, gulp fish to be able to go through and clean everything up. And then this whole area fills up with enough water to uh, touch the liquid pump. And then it just pumps the clean water out works fine. What's not working so fine is our polluted water that comes from our petroleum generators and also our toilets and this this is where it's a bit of a problem starting to back up. Uh, I didn't really understand why it was backing up. I thought maybe we were having some sand issues but no we've got some sand over here. I thought maybe the water sieve was having troubles but no actually the, the, it can't pump out and it can't pump out because these two are full. Why are these full? Well because the 
the germ sensor keeps saying there's a lot of germs in there, and indeed there are a lot of germs in here. Somehow, this floor has cracked under the pressure of all the polluted water down below. It's displaced a whole bunch of water, let's get the liquid up, up into the, uh, the chamber here, and thus pushed all the chlorine up and out of the way. That's no good, we, we can't have that. Now we did find out the other day that igneous rock is a much better material for making floors out of that are under pressure. So I'm, I'm just gonna say, hey, could we do that? But more importantly, I think we've got some things that we need to do. I need to mop this area out here, and it's telling me that I can't mop that area out there. I see, I see, the uh, the, the, the ladder just stopped short. Uh, so if we can get all of that done as quick as possible, maybe we can start dealing with some other stuff here, uh, like making this nice secure, break our way in here, and we're gonna break our way in there so that we can put some of the uh, the bleach stone that we've been collecting to use. That's 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 what we've got it for. It's a shame all the chlorine's been leaking though. At some point all of this will filter down as it has been and get pumped away. I notice our pumps are being swamped up over here. So hopefully as soon as most of this is done. Oh, was this igneous rock being replaced straight away? Okay, that, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Once this has been done, we can uh, definitely... Oh, people seem to have had a little bit of uh, problems over there on Pyaxon. Um, we can then just leave that base again. Uh, over here, we've got some digging happening over this way. We've got some building happening over here. But really, we did want this sort of to be prioritized uh, this this is super hot liquids coming out of here at the moment and the uh, the next thing we're gonna work on is moving the cool slush geyser ah things are gonna be a problem shortly let me just uh, put one of these down here oh, I can't put the other one down for the moment we're gonna lose access way once this gets broken but that's all right we, we can deal with that uh, we're gonna drop some cool slush from this cool slush geyser if we have a look over here it, it's just lost in amongst all the others I don't know why I did that uh, it tells us that we've got a cool slush geyser right down at the very bottom of the list there I don't know what it outputs slush at what temperature uh, but I do know it's much less than the uh, the 90 odd degree water that's coming out of here. The 90 odd degree water that we're picking up, processing and dumping into oxygen. So it's kind of important that we can balance out these temperatures at least... Hello, Spitzer, what are you doing? At least uh, provisionally, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Pip's going around putting a lot of murph leaves down. I kind of wish it'd go around and plant more oxyfern and stuff in places, but I suppose that's fine. All right, back to reverse. We're just we're just going to round robbing this a uh, lot. Uh, so. Another thing, and I'm not just trying... Ooh, my accent turned off. Uh, I'm not just trying to drop more magma in here, because that's a, that's a super short-term solution, right? Like that, that's, that's definitely something... We can't keep dropping magma in. We're going to run out of magma eventually, even if I do get up to there and let that loose. But back here, we've got a liquid sulfur geyser, and those that liquid sulfur we can feed to these little creatures here, the... Uh, the no, not grub fruit seeds. The grub grubs. Uh, let's let's have a look and see what we need to uh, to actually uh, feed them. We we feed them sulfur and they excrete mud or sucrose. I don't know how to make sucrose, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, we've also got these guys, the sweetles. Ah, this is where we make the, the, the sucrose. Uh, so I think I'd like to have mostly a sweetle farm. I'm sure we've got some sweetles somewhere. And then maybe the Grub Grub Farm to back that up, just to uh, break our dependence on stone hatches. I don't know where we're going to keep our hatch supply after that, because we will legitimately run out of renewable rock at this point. Oh, hey, Rutherford, what are you doing up there? Okay, we're going to leave you to it. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh, look, we... I I see some problems. I see so Let's turn that off. We've been drop, dropping petroleum back on top of where we were um, mopping up. Okay, that's that's not what we want. Let's uh, let's turn that off. Hopefully, when that gets done again, what I actually want to do is uh, airflow tile, just some cheap materials, some some copper ore will do, and we'll try and let all this oxygen out of here. There's like. 40 kilograms, stuff like that to be done. Uh, I then need to try and figure out how I'm going to break in here, and it's almost certainly just by breaking this tile. We'll have to mop up the uh, the petroleum, but I, I think that's fine. So once again, we'll leave that go. This is going to be a round robin of issues today. Let's make ourselves some more ladders moving on. Uh, of course, I couldn't just set the ladders up because Hubble is the only person who can dig. But as was hilariously found out last episode, he can't actually do any building. Uh, so... 
if the if the hard materials have a build order on top of them, Spitzer, the only person who can dig, uh, can build, sorry, can't come along and dig the material. So I have to dig first and then put down the build order. What, do, what are you actually doing up here, Hubble, by the way? It's confusing. Confusing. It'd be really nice to get some more millwood. Hopefully we're going to get more as we farm up. And hopefully the pip is not going to come along and uh, fill up that farm tile with... You know, other stuff. The Murph leaves are what I'm most worried about. If it if it dropped an oxy fern there, I think I, I'd live with that. But uh, we we could probably do better. Okay, the digging is almost dug here. I, I'm wondering whether I want to. I don't want to drop the lava on top of Rutherford. I think that's the big problem here. Uh, let's go. Yeah, th th this way. This this feels fine. I'm very surprised how well Rutherford has held up with this. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I will stop them uh, do it, doing all this digging and building. But right now, oh, he, he didn't grab his stuff, so he's gone to look somewhere else for building materials. That's fine, that's fine. I just want to try and let these little bits of magma free. Maybe even try and dig through here at some point, but that's not my, my main priority. <sighs> Just get, getting into here and figuring out what to do with that. We're not going to be able to do anything with that today, but we will get there. Okay, we've managed to let the gases loose over on Pyax, and we've come in and started... Mm, I'm, I, I'm not liking... Yeah, we've got a too much liquid scenario there. I'm not liking that at all. Why isn't this one ready to be mopped in any way? Uh, there's, there's problems there, and I'm not sure how to overcome them. Ne nearly forgot to turn the alarm off for Rutherford. You go home, buddy. You go home. It's it's fine. It's totally yeah. You got it. You got to eat and stuff. We've got a lot of food available to us here. That's nice. Very very nice. Uh, Pyaxlin. Yeah, we still got the problems with the water on the floor. I I'm sure we'll figure something out for that. And Irigal. Most of what I've wanted to happen hasn't happened. Yay. Oh, we have a food situation. I thought this was enough to see us through, but it turns out no. Okay, well, I mean, this pit pit. No, I can't. Can I do that? I don't know what we're going to eat. Let's 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 think about this. Ooh, yeah. I mean, let's just start breaking through stuff and seeing if, uh, like, let's uproot that one because it's also not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's not growing at the moment. If we could just do anything we can to get all this moving, that would be uh, better somehow. Well, Hubble's currently making some lice loaf, but will Spitzer be the one to pick it up? I mean, that's that's a big question right there. That is a big question indeed. I presume it's Spitzer. Yeah, it is actually Spitzer. Uh, if we look on his bio over here, I've been looking already. He's got 600. Uh, that's not... No, good. Whew, I thought I thought that was going to be Hubble then. But the lack of further food from this point onwards is also a bit of a problem. Yes, yes, a problem. Let, let's come up here. Any, any, any digging happening over here? I don't know whether he can actually reach this this layer down here. That looks like maybe he can't, but we'll find out. Oh look, we got sweetles over here. That's that's even better. That that's that's great. Uh, okay, back to Pyaxlin, where this is a problem kicking off. Uh, if we press F2. Do you reckon we just get rid of that? Like there'll be a there'll be a whole host of issues that will happen when we do that but it might let us save the day. I'm going to deconstruct and do this. Uh, hopefully someone will come along and deal with that fairly quickly. I was expecting um, expecting Curie, but Rubin, who looks like she could really do with some... Wow, what, what, is, what is going on here? Why is everyone having bad times? Uh, but hopefully now we can get in and too much liquid. Okay, that's, that's just going to be a problem forever, is it? Uh, M0, there we go. I, we just need more people just needs to keep happening you know okay everything seems to still be running nothing's really complaining about the power maybe these are two halves of the uh, the power system that just are really if we get down to it not necessary to uh, to have as one unit oh look everything here is just like no 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 we're not providing power to anything uh, we got we do have some things running down the batteries there but now if we connect these back together we should hopefully hopefully get uh, let, let's put that up nice and high, but I think Curie's going to... No, let's just make sure that happens. Franklin, where are you? Thank you very, very much. Uh, now we need to figure out uh, base. Uh, I want to have the automatic dispenser right there. I don't really want it to be powered, but I think 
Oh, actually, how about if we turn that one off and then we uh, put another one up here? Yeah, that's much better, much better. We'll also put that on a high priority. And then we should be able to start dumping some bleach stone in there. Of course, this means someone has to try and get in when there's uh, near enough five kilograms of, uh, of chlorine just kicking around. Hmm, interesting. Okay, the lava is pretty much back to flowing. It would be nice if we could come in and take, like, this this little area out right here. That would be cool. Let's put down the ladders to lead us over to that little promised land. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and then at that point, we'll probably actually want to start coming back and clearing up the area. Maybe getting uh, these down here. Do you reckon from here we could reach some of these areas? I don't know. Let's, let's try it like that and see what happens. Taking out this... This little section here would also be good to set f uh, set free all of the magma back behind there. Pi Axlin, how are we doing? We've got some stuff built. That's brilliant. Uh, consumable or bleach stone. I basically just want to dump uh, everything that I can into there. But first, I think we want to try and pick that up. I don't know whether I can put that on uh, alarm and actually people will come along and pick it up. We're, we're going to leave it there just, just to see what happens. Uh, cursory glance at Blagolia. No, nothing blew up over here. That's nice. Right, on to Irigal, uh, where the food, the food is the big issue. Also, the autosave. Uh, I think my, my, my big play is to try and make my way through here down to, I mean, that's all Oxyfern, but there's, there's got to be some food in here somewhere. Like, like here's some Millwood, but how do I, how do I get there quickly? <laughs> Something like this? Is this is this the fastest path? I think so. It's going through the weakest materials, so I, I sure do hope that's the winner there. I'm not sure how to make sure that uh, Hubble goes and does that, but of course, trying to make sure the batteries for the oxygen are full is probably the high priority that we need now. I should really set that just to dig priorities, but here we are. Slapping down <laughs> wide orders. Okay, we've had the alarm running for a little while, and it doesn't look like anyone's going to be... That, oh, thank you, Curie. I was going to say picking up this water, but it turns out they are picking up the water. It needs to go all the way over to this polluted water bottle over here. I can definitely see why it's taken a while for all of that to get moved. I would prefer it if literally everybody was doing it, though. Do you reckon we could do that by uh, also turning this one on? Oh, I sure do hope so. And before we've even got all of the polluted water mopped up, the chlorine in this tank here is doing a wonderful job cleaning my water. And thus the uh, the pipes have started uh, moving through again. We're just going to wait for this to get to a certain level. 10% it turns out, which should be happening very, very shortly. If I'm not wrong, 10% of 5,000 is 500. So we get to watch this little liquid shutoff valve up here fire back up now. Look at that. Beautiful. And start refilling the system. This should then also mean that the uh, the toilets start emptying and not being full of, of troubles okay so that that's good one one serious problem down i guess we're gonna want to deconstruct this because at some point i'm gonna want to fill this back in uh but until all this water is gone I'm not sure when that's actually gonna happen Hubble bravely digging his way through. No one's complaining about starving yet. That's good. Uh, especially as we've got some Millwood getting close to being ready. It's still a distance off though, isn't it? Mm. Okay, now Spitzer is again complaining. What, what happened to Hubble? When did he eat? Uh, Spitzer again complaining about the starving. Okay, uh, I don't know what to do about this. I mean, we're going as fast as we can. As fast as we can. When does when are these like harvestable? Obviously, when they, when they get to to a hundred percent. But what what do they look like? What I've never I've never cooked with water wheat. Is it something that we can actually cook with here? I doubt it. Actually, now that I stop and think about what I'm saying. But can I? No, that's water, not water wheat. Uh, but but can I just eat it as it is? Water weed, not water wheat. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> I honestly don't know what we can do to get Hubble and Spitzer food at this point. My entire, my entire option is to make it down to this Hexlant at the moment. That, that, that's it. That's, that's the best I've got. Uh, and then we'll figure out from there what it is we're going to do. <laughs> Okay, we've got a Hubble through the magic of alarms making another bit of food. Whether it's going to be enough for Spitzer to actually make it, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's move him over here for the food when it's ready. 
Uh, and then Hubble can go back. I mean, of course, we ha do have to worry about the fact that Hubble's nearly dead. I mean, the food is is on its way, but man. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I forgot we could make mush bars. This shouldn't be a problem. I should just, wait, stop everything over here. P9. I completely forgot that mush bars were a thing. And we might now be too late to deal with it. Uh, all, all, all hands on deck over here right now as we just try and get everything made, right? And whilst Hubble and Spitzer fight for their very survival, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that stopped me starving. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future. The pressures of university really are starting to pile back up again, so once again it is amazing to have a legitimate reason to prioritise this game. So I'd like to take this moment here and say thank you so much guys for making all of this possible. Oh, 150 calories. Oh, well, it's 160, but this this is close. This is far, far too close. All right, now that that's dropped out, we need to turn this off and the, well, not off, but but down. Uh, and then hopefully it's not Hubble who picks up the lice loaf. We're gonna pop you up here because you're not the most in need. Uh, go Spitzer, go. He's going to eat. Okay, that's the next thing. That's good. Now, this should be super high priority with Hubble doing the next thing. If, if you could, please, Hubble. Let's not let's not starve you as well. Uh, I'm fairly sure that everything is there for the mush bars. So let, let's just get going and hopefully not starve you. Oh, Spitzer, I know there's troubles, but please just, just get in that spinny wheel. Thank you very much. All right, Spitzer at some some food he's not starving anymore but Hubble could wait could we send Hubble over here to eat uh, I mean I really do want this microbe musher to be done but I think we'd be better off if we just did that oh we made a bit we made a bit anyway okay all right There's m minor minor problem averted oh my gosh that that was too close that was too close and of course we're not really done this is nice though Oh, we got more more millwood coming through. Okay, that's great. Where, where has Hubble gone though? He's going to continue trying to dig his way through here. I'm kind of okay with that. As long as we can get the, 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 the gases flowing, I think that should be fine. Maybe we'll just like dig this little sliver out here as well. Okay, yeah, that, that should work. That should work well. Uh, another thing I want to do is to get a buffer gate so that it... Um, I'll put a green signal with the input. Oh, no, 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 no. I want a filter then. The, the one the one that only goes if we've had a green f signal for a while. Yeah, yeah, the filter is the one. So we'll pop that there and, of course, break this. Uh, a couple of seconds should be fine. What I'm trying to avoid is any oxygen ending up in the line, which we've not been entirely successful with, as you can tell by the damage on the hydrogen generator over here. So if we just give it a little bit more time um, from detecting the hydrogen, hopefully the uh, the plus of the of the the plus of the pickup zone, because it's kind of five blocks, will not be full of oxygen. I'm really trying to just avoid the oxygen. Oh, now who's starving? Hubble? Uh, I mean, yeah, but I feel like we can we can manage that. Thank you. Okay, crisis on the way to being averted. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm hoping that Hubble can eat in the time it's... Yeah, a thousand calories. You're all, you're all good. Okay, change Rutherford's uh, priorities here to the digging and the building. Actually thought about it and... Like, whilst the ranching can just carry on over as many times as it needs to, the uh, the building, when I put it down, is kind of important right then and there. So let's make that a much higher priority. Back over on Iragal, Hubble was doing some work. The, the lack of power seems to be a problem. Definitely going to have to get, like, a power spline running up the side here at some point. Probably going to have to sacrifice a little bit of functionality of all these rooms, move everything over just a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, I almost want to get rid of the mush bar on this uh, this list of jobs here but this is so close to being done that I think we're fine uh, we got Spitzer coming down slowly clearing the way down for this drop of water that I uh, want to drop down here but of course 
that hydrogen's going to get loose and then there's going to be all sorts of troubles this is a bit a bit more on the back burner now trying to connect everything up together it's not quite as important as dealing with uh, power would you say but with that, we've managed to pull this uh, colony back from the very brink of starvation. I think we've got ourselves some uh, some mush loaf on the go, but more importantly, we've got actual lice loaf being made over on Reverse Lynn. Uh, but Rutherford's going around doing all the digging that needs to be done, making sure that we can still get some igneous rock, but more importantly, make our way over to the liquid sulfur geyser. And on Blagolia, no, not Blagolia, I do this every time. On Pyaxlin, of course, we have solved the watering issue. So I suppose with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time, where we're going to continue trying to make Irrigal as nice as possible. We've got ourselves a better oxygen set up now, so we can make our way around this asteroid being just a little bit more comfortable and hopefully being able to drop our materials down here scolding of course Ruben over here this is going to be something that we need to worry about at some other point because whilst we have some very cold areas on Pyaxlin we have some very hot areas on Pyaxlin but I will see you next time when we're gonna do that bye